Mm. All right. Mages! Bokas passed the Herald. Let his will draw from you. Okay, I thought it would be a little bit more of a battle, but I guess we did that in the beginning. Solus confirms the heavens are scarred but calm. The breach is sealed. We have reports of lingering rifts, and many questions remain. But this was a victory. Word of your heroism has spread. You know how many were involved. Luck put me at the center. A strange kind of luck. I'm not sure if we need more or less. But you're right. This was a victory of Alliance, one of the few in recent memory. With the breach closed, that Alliance will need new focus. Forces approaching! To arms! Wait, what? We must get to the gates! Wait, why are we? I knew it was too easy. Is that the undead? What? Wait, what? Never a dull moment for southerners, is there? What's going on? What happened? Cullen. One watch guard reporting. It's a massive force. The bulk over the mountain. Under what banner? None. None. I can't come in unless you open. I'm Cole. I came to warn you, to help. People are coming to hurt you. You probably already know. What is this? What's going on? The Templars come to kill you. Templars? Is this the Order's response to our talks with the Mages, attacking blindly? The Red Templars went to the Elder One. You know him, he knows you. You took his Mages. There. I know that man. But this Elder One... Oh my. He's very angry that you took his mages. Colin, give me a plan. Anything. Haven is no fortress. If we are to withstand this monster, we must control the battle. Get out there and hit that force. Use everything you can. Mages! You! You have sanction to engage them! That is Samson! He will not make it easy! Inquisition! With the Herald! For your lives! For all of us! 
Holy shit. Let's do it. Almost ready. Keep them off us. Okay. I'm like, what? What are we doing? Let's let's get it. Okay, we're ready to fire. Are we firing or no? Shit. We got this. I ain't worried about a thing.
A dragon? You're kidding. Shit, who ordered the end of the damn world? Everyone to the gates. Chantry. It's the only building that might hold against that beast. At this point, just make them work for it. Let's get people to safety. I'm assuming it's too late, right? Fuck. Uh, I couldn't get to the man in time. <laughs> I feel so bad. I hear a voice. Rescue Haven's town people. You hear that? Survivors.
keep going. The Chantry is your shelter. He tried to stop a Templar. The blade went deep. He's going to die. What a charming boy. Harold, our position is not good. That dragon stole back any time you might have earned us. I've seen an archdemon. I was in the Fade, but it looked like that. I don't care what it looks like. It's got a path for that army. They'll kill everyone in Haven. <coughs> the Elder One doesn't care about the village. He only wants the Herald. If you know why he wants me, just say it. I don't. He's too loud. It hurts to hear him. He wants to kill you. No one else matters, but he'll crush them. Kill them anyway. I don't like him. You don't like... <sighs> Harold, there are no tactics to make this survivable. The only thing that slowed them was the avalanche. We could turn the remaining trebuchets, cause one last slide. We're overrun. To hit the enemy, we'd bury Haven. We're dying, but we can decide how. Many don't get that choice. Yes, that. Chancellor Roderick can help. He wants to say it before he dies. There is a path. You wouldn't know it unless you'd made the summer pilgrimage, as I have. The people can escape. She must have shown me. Andraste must have shown me so I could t tell you. What are you on about, Roderick? It was whim that I walked the path. I did not mean to start. It was overgrown. Now, with so many in the <coughs> conclave dead, to be the only one who remembers. I don't know, Harold. If this simple memory can save us, this could be more than mere accident. You could be more. What about it, Cullen? Will it work? Possibly. If he shows us the path. But what of your escape? Perhaps you will surprise it. Find a way. Inquisition, follow Chancellor Roderick through the Chantry. Move! Harold, if you are meant for this, if the Inquisition is meant for this, I pray for you. They'll load the trebuchets. Keep the Elder One's attention until we're above the tree line. If we are to have a chance, if you are to have a chance, let that thing hear you. We need to be noticed. Happens to be a specialty of mine. I need some water really bad.
Maybe. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Revive, revive. Come back, come back. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Heal, heal. There we go. Come on, team. <laughs> Bring y'all back to life. You ain't dying yet, baby. <laughs> There we go. Move now. Oh my god. Yeah. 
Enough! Pretender, you toy with forces beyond your ken no more. What are you? Why are you doing this? Mortals beg for truth they cannot have. It is beyond what you are, what I was. Know me. Know what you have pretended to be. Exalt the Elder One. The will that is Corypheus. You will kneel. This doesn't make sense! Let me understand! Your understanding is not required. If you gain it, consider yourself blessed. I am here for the anchor. The process of removing it begins now. It is your fault, Herald. You interrupted a ritual years in the planning, and instead of dying, you stole its purpose. I do not know how you survived, but what marks you as touched, what you flail at rifts, I crafted to assault the very heaven. Come on, fight! You used the anchor to undo my work. The goal. It's a boon from Andraste. She saved my life. Then your lady wished me to kill you, for her boon is a beacon I cannot let escape. I once breached the Fade in the name of another to serve the old gods of the Empire in person. I found only chaos and corruption, dead whispers. For a thousand years I was confused, no more. I have gathered the will to return under no name but my own, to champion Wither to Winter and correct this blighted world. Beg that I succeed, for I have seen the throne of the gods, and it was empty. Ah! The anchor is permanent. You have spoilt it with your stumbling. <laughs> so be it. I will begin again. Find another way to give this world the nation and god. It requires. And you, I will not suffer even an unknowing rival. You must die. You expect me to fight, but that's not why I kept you talking. Enjoy your victory. Here's your prize. There we go. Right then, <laughs> that was pretty good. Eh? Well, that was good eh? Whew. Okay, let me make sure I'm recording. <laughs> okay, let me make sure I'm recording. I'm recording for there. A 
focus base ability. Mark of the Rift causes massive damage and can't even kill some enemies instantly. Mark of the Rift is a focus base ability. Focus is a re resource that is gained each time someone is in your party deals damage. Each party member has a personal focus meter, but all party members gain focus when a single member deals damage. I can now open rifts. Wow. How is this on fire? If it's This game is so good. Oh my god. Can I light a fire here? Perchance. This is crazy. We cannot simply ignore this. We must find a way. And who put you in charge? We need a consensus or we have nothing. Please, we must use reason. Without the infrastructure of the Inquisition, we're hobbled. I can't come from nowhere. She didn't say it could. Enough! This is getting us nowhere. Well, we're agreed on that much. Shh. You need to rest. They've been at it for hours. They have that luxury thanks to you. The enemy could not follow, and with time to doubt, we turn to blame. Infighting may threaten as much as this Corypheus. Do we know where Corypheus and his forces are? We are not sure where we are, which may be why, despite the numbers he still commands, there is no sign of him. That, or you are believed dead. Or without Haven, we are thought helpless. Or he girls for another attack. 
I cannot claim to know the mind of that creature, only his effect on us. The only thing yelling gets us is a headache. Another headache. They know. But our situation, your situation, is complicated. Our leaders struggle because of what we survivors witnessed. We saw our defender stand and fall. And now we have seen him return. The more the enemy is beyond us, the more miraculous your actions appear and the more our trials seem ordained. That is hard to accept, no? What we have been called to endure. What we, perhaps, must come to believe. I escaped the avalanche, barely, perhaps, but I didn't die. Of course, and the dead cannot return from across the veil. But the people know what they saw, or perhaps what they needed to see. The Maker works both in the moment and in how it is remembered. Can we truly know the heavens are not with us? You saw Corypheus. What do you think of his claims of assaulting the heavens? Scripture says magisters, to winter servants of false old gods, entered the Fade to reach the Golden City, seat of the Maker. For their crime, they were cast out as darkspawn. Their hubis is why we suffer blight, and why the Maker turned from us. If such is the claim of this Corypheus, he is a monster beyond imagining. All mankind continues to suffer for that sin. If even a shred of it is true, all the more reason Andraste would choose someone to rise against him. Corypheus said he found only corruption and emptiness, nothing golden. If he entered that place, it has changed him without and within. The living are not meant to make that journey. Perhaps these are lies he must tell himself, rather than accept that he earned the scorn of the Maker. I know I could not bear such. Um... Mother Giselle, I just don't see how what I believe matters. Lies or not, Corypheus is a real physical threat. You can't match that with hope alone. Oh. 
I love this game. <laughs> oh my god, I an love army it. army needs more than an enemy. It needs a cause. We had a can't rock moment, okay? <laughs> a word. This remind me if we can't, we can't back down that doc, that song. It can't rock at the end of the um, movie. <laughs> Wait, no, wrong song. <laughs> A wise woman, worth heeding. Her kind understand the moments that unify a cause. Or fracture it. The orb Corypheus carried, the power he used against you, it is Elven. Corypheus used the orb to open the breach. Unlocking it must have caused the explosion that destroyed the Conclave. I do not yet know how Corypheus survived. Nor am I certain how people will react when they learn of the orb's origin. All right. What is it, and how do you know about it? They were foci, used to channel ancient magics. I have seen such things in the Fade, old memories of older magic. Corypheus may think it to Vint. His empire's magic was built on the bones of my people. Knowing or not, he risks our alliance. I cannot allow it. This whole mess is confusing. I can see how elves might be an easy target. History would agree, but there are steps we can take to prevent such a distraction. By attacking the Inquisition, Corypheus has changed it, changed you. Scout to the north, be their guide. There is a place that waits for a force to hold it. There is a place where the Inquisition can build, grow. Okay, new upgrade. <laughs> I like this. They arrive daily from every settlement in the region. Skyhold is becoming a pilgrimage. If word has reached these people, it will have reached the Elder One. We have the walls and numbers to put up a fight here, but this threat is far beyond the war we anticipated. But we now know what allowed you to stand against Corypheus. What drew him to you? This all began with Andraste's blessing. It was that simple. Yet did her blessing grant you worthiness? Or was it given because you were already worthy? Your decisions let us heal the sky. Your determination brought us out of Haven. 
You are the creature's rival because of what you did. And we know it. All of us. The Inquisition requires a leader. The one who has already been leading it. You. I have tried to serve faithfully, to understand the burden I was meant to carry. That is always a struggle. You're not sure about this. There's no faith without doubt, yet I believe this is the only path before us. There would be no Inquisition without you. How it will serve, how you lead, that must be yours to decide. A beautiful sword. running rampant. They need to see a mage standing for what is right. I'll defeat Corypheus standing with them, not over them. Wherever you lead us. Have our people been told? They have. And soon, the world. Commander, will they follow? Inquisition, will you follow? <laughs> Your leader, your herald, your inquisitor! So this is where it begins. It began in the courtyard. This is where we turned that promise into action. But what do we do? We know nothing about this Corypheus except that he wanted your mark. Corypheus wants to restore to Vinter. Is this a prelude to war with the Imperium? I get the feeling we're dealing with extremists, not the vanguard of a true invasion. Tevinter is not the Imperium of a thousand years ago. What Corypheus yearns to restore no longer exists. Though they would shed no tears if the South fell to chaos, I'm certain. Corypheus said he wanted to enter the Black City, but this would make him a god. He is willing to tear this world apart to reach the next. It won't matter if he's wrong. What if he's not wrong? If he finds some other way into the Fade. Then he gains the power he seeks, or unleashes catastrophe on us all. Could his dragon really be an archdemon? What would that mean? It would mean the beginning of another blight. We've seen no darkspawn other than Corypheus himself. Perhaps it's not an archdemon at all, but something different? Whatever it is, it's dangerous. Commanding such a creature gives Corypheus an advantage we can't ignore. Could he strike at us here? We can't have a repeat of what happened at Haven. Skyhold has the bones to withstand Corypheus. After what you did with one trebuchet, I'd bet against direct attack. We do have one advantage. We know what Corypheus intends to do next. In that strange future you experienced, Empress Selene had been assassinated. Imagine the chaos her death would cause. With his army, an army he'll bolster with a massive force of demons, or so the future tells us. Corypheus could conquer the entire south of Thedas, god or no god. 
I'd feel better if we knew more about what we were dealing with. I know someone who can help with that. Uh, everyone acting all inspirational jogged my memory, so I, I sent a message to an old friend. He's crossed paths with Corypheus before and may know more about what he's doing. He, he can help. I'm always looking for new allies. Introduce me. Uh, parading around might cause a fuss. It's better for you to meet privately, on the battlements. Trust me, it's complicated. Well, then, uh, we stand ready to move on both of these concerns. On your order, Inquisitor. I know one thing. If Varric has brought who I think he has, Sandra is going to kill him. This is the Inquisition. <laughs>